Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the sales access right in Odoo 17. Sales access right is the permission and limitations that are given to the individuals or user groups with the connection to the data and function of the system and are referred to as the access right in Odoo. This access right aid in limiting who is able to do what within the various module. Before discussing about the access right, we need to know the user type. So you can manage the user type from the general settings of Odoo platform where you can manage with the user. So here we have different types of user who are internal user, portal user and public user. And portal user and public user will not be dealing with the uh, access right. And internal users are the people within a business organization who are um, using the financial information. Example, the internal users are the owners, managers, and employee, where the portal users are usually the customers or suppliers, and they only get to see their document. And public users as a user type, where they can access um, the website through the URL. So let's see how can we manage the user type and the access right in Odoo 17. So here, first, we're going to deal with the user type, internal user. So as we choose the internal user, here we can manage the access right. So as this right comes with three options, which is administrator, user on documents and user on document. So if you're setting the access right as administrator, the administrator can be, um, administrator can deal with all the financial records in an organization. So when you just consider Michelle admin as the administrator and move on to the sales module here, the administrator, Michelle Admin, can create the records, such as he can create the um, quotations, he can confirm it as the invoice, and if he want to create a new customer, he can create that, he can manage with the sales team, uh, he can uh, create order to upsell, or he can manage the reports as well as product. And if he want to manage the configuration or other settings in the sales module, he can manage that. But... If we limit the access right to all documents or on documents, there will be a certain limitations. So let's consider the user as a uh, mock demo and let's set uh, the user type as internal user, but we'll be providing the access right for the user on documents. So when you just log out from Michel Admin and log in as a uh, demo, you can view the change that the Michel, I mean, uh, the demo will have a limitation in uh, access of certain documents in the Odoo platform where he can create a sale or I mean uh, a quotation as well as a sale order but he won't be able to manage with the um, the configuration settings of Odoo platform and um, now let's log out from markdemo and change the access right of markdemo so just back to the uh, administrator and uh, you can choose the user mark demo where we are going to change the access right of this user into on documents only so if you set the access right as on documents only then the user will be only able to see his own documents so when you just uh, log out from michelle admin and log in as mark demo you would be able to find the change that this user will be only able to find his documents. That is the quotation that is created by him or the orders that is dealt by the salesperson Mark Demo. So you can get all the records over here, which is uh, I mean, very uh, similar to the all documents of the internal user. Now let's log out from the demo and log in as the administrator and let's consider the user um, that is a public user. So public user are the users who can only access uh, through the URL of the website. So as you just remove the internal user filter, you would be able to see the uh, public user. So let's choose a public user. So here you can find the email as well as if you want to change the password of the user, you can change it from the gear icon where you can change the user 
and you also need to uh, ensure that the user type is set to public then only that user will be considered as a public user now let me log out from um, the user michelle admin and log in as the public user so as you just uh, log in as a public user you can see the change that the user will be able to see the quotations uh, currently there are no quotation for this user okay now let's log out from the public user and log in as a portal user so in order to log in as a portal user we have to uh, ensure that the user type is set to um, portal user so portal users are usually the customers or suppliers and they get uh, only uh, to see their own documents so if you want to just uh, get into odo as a portal user either you can uh, choose uh, this from here or you can give the username or the password that you have given so by default in odo we can set the uh, username and password as portal uh, for the portal user so by using that button you can easily get into the portal user uh, view so here you can see the uh, account of portal user where you can find the quotation that to review and if you want to get more details regarding this you can just get into the quotation and you can find the attachments or um, all the order details over here and you can also make a signature and payment through the online itself and if you want to view uh, all other details such as the sales order uh, the invoices and if you want to make any alteration in the address then you can uh, just edit the address and uh, give over here and save the changes afterwards you can also uh, get a connection and security which means if you want to change the password of your account you can change that directly from the uh, portal user view so here we have an option of connection and security where you can set a new password and verify that um, using two-factor authentication so this is how we manage with the user type and access right in odoo 17 so access right always allow or helps to keep the confidentiality of a data in a business organization so hope this concept is clear for you as always stay awesome and thank you for watching the video